Hello friends, in this video we are going to show you how to load data from server side in AngularJS. We have already have initial setup ready, we just need to follow below mentioned steps. Now we would request you to watch post data to server side video for initial setup. So in that video we have showed you how to send or how to post data to the server side and we also save that data to the server side in the database and using the same application we are going to show the save data on the UI. So we request you to watch that video. We are going to add a new partial named player list and respective controller for it. And we will introduce a new function in factory to load data from the server side. And we are going to call that factory function from controller and set data in the scope. And that data we are going to show it on the UI. So, so this is our initial setup. And currently we have two players in the database that is Santi and Mizut. So our application looks like this and as I mentioned earlier please watch the other video that is post data to server side using AngularJS and you'll be having better idea of the application. Now let's start the first step. So the first step is we are going to have another partial. So the name of that partial we have already decided and the name of that partial is gonna be player list dot html and we are going to remove everything from here and we are just going to have an header tag this list of pairs and just this much for now then we'll be having a html structure to show the data present in the database for now this much is enough now we are going to now in the current application if you see so this is the current state of the application so current state of the application the add player.html renders on a current route so basically this is the default page but we want player list.html to be our default page so in order to do that or in order to make changes we, we have to go to app.js so in each, instead of add player.html we want player list.html to be our default route and we will have separate controller for this and we are going to name it as main controller and we are going to have a separate route for add player so add player dot html and the controller remains the same that is add player and that route we are going to name it as slash is for default and add player is the route name now as we have added the player list to our route config basically now we want to create this main controller so in order to create this controller we have to go to controller.js and here we are going to add one more controller and we are going to name that controller as main controller and inside this controller we are going to accept an anonymous function to this function we are going to send scope object and for now we are going to set one message here so that to check whether the angular things are working fine and we are going to set it to main controller okay now if I refresh my page you can see list of players so I need to check whether angular is working or not on the page so I just have to specify or bind the message and if I refresh you can see main control that means it's working now the next step is to create a function in the player controller NVC controller which can return us the data so we need to add one more JSON result function here we are going to name it as player get players and we are going to have a list of type player and name it as list players and we are going to fetch data from our context object dot players dot list to list now this list variable list players variable will have all the data in the player table in the database so now this list we are going to send to the client side using json result and we say new data or let's say it list is equal to list players 
and as this is a get operation we need to specify json request behavior dot allow get okay so our server side function to get the data from database is ready now we are going to use this function in our factory and we are going to add one more function here saying factory dot get players from db and we are going to create one anonymous function and we are going to use http services service object to get the data and we are going to use get operation of http and we are going to post or we are going to get it from player controller and our function name is get player which we have created just now and we are going to return this promise from this function whoever will call this function now our factory thing is also done now we are going to call this factory function from our main controller so that we can get the data this data into our scope of this main controller so in order to do that let's call our factory function so in order to do that we have to specify the dependency and then we can use our player service and we, we will say player service dot get players from db and we are going to use then function so this then function will be called when this promise will get resolved that means when this get post get resolved and response we get after getting the response this then function will be called and inside this then function we are going to send the response and then we are going to set a variable on a scope having all the list from the database so we name that variable as list players and we are going to assign the list from the server side okay and now this list players we are going to bind it in our player list.html so here we are going to have a tabular structure so the first year will have all the headings so the headings will be name club and country similarly the second table row or the further table rows we are going to use ng repeat in order to render them and we will use item in what is a scope variable name that is list players so we'll say item in list players and for each item in list players we are going to render a tr so that is why we have applied ng repeat on tr and then we are going to have data binded using expression so the first property is name similarly we have club and we also have country okay now let's build our project and then we can refresh our page to check whether the data gets bind or not let's check if there is any problem yeah there is a there is a failure oh you can see the data has been rendered on the ui so senti arsenal spain mesut arsenal germany so if you check any database these are the two records now let's do some ui work here so we want a counter as well so in order to render the counter we can use dollar index and we are going to increment it by one so you can see that one two also now from this page we are going to have a link hyperlink to our add player so that we can navigate to add player and back so hash is the default route and the route on which add player will be rendered is add player we are going to show the text as add player similarly we are also going to have a link in the add player which will say back and here we have to specify default route now if i refresh my page so currently i only have two records now if i go to add player i'm going to add one more record so i say aaron and club is arsenal and the country is wales i click on submit it's 
chase player added successfully now if i go back to my main page it will have three records so you can see arsenal aaron and wales so this is how you can get data from the database so you just have to have a factory function which will get the data from the database or from the controller and then you have to return the promise from this function then on execution of this promise or resolving of this that promise you have to use then function after that you have to set a variable in the scope and then finally you have to use this scope variable using ng repeat you can bind data in the table so this is how you can get data from the database in angular js and bind it to the ui i hope you like this video